Hello everyone, let's take a look at the SP500. We can see from the opening of the market, the price has gone up all the way to the closing of market and it nearly closed at the high point of the, of the day but uh, dropped a little bit before the closing. So it's still a bullish sign for the market close at a high point. If we change the chart into daily chart, then we can see here it has formed a healthy green candle after the drop of yesterday. And this green candle has the same real body high of the formal green, uh, red candle here. So they have the same top actually if we re disregard the upper tail of the last candle. So it means the market try to reclaim the highs of before. So it's also a bullish sign. But if we check the detail, we can see the volume is low. It's comparably lower than all the candles before it. It means the, the, the breakout is unlikely from the volume. So there's not strong buy in today. Also, if we change the chart into weekly chart, we can see the, on the weekly chart it has formed a doji pattern. A doji pattern means it nearly across. That means the same high tail, uh, up tail and the low tail. It means the selling and the, the buying is the same par. So we can see here, after making this high, now we have a new high. So this new high has a great meaning because it has make all time new high with uh, volume going up so it's still bear, uh, still bullish so in my opinion the long uptrend from March has been continued so it's very likely in the medium for the market to go, go higher but in short term we can see now we have nearly the same three top here one the first one is here this one has a high point of 3588 and here we have the real body here so it's a, it's also at 3583 here so now it's the third one so when the something tried high for the third time it's very likely for it to break through so in my opinion the SP500 is very likely to go higher from here on Monday. Let's wait and see. Thank you.